So, almost finished, but running laser. I started this in, I think it was mid-January, and various adventures on the way have delayed it, and I've now reached this point um, where it's fully enclosed, and it has a working exhaust system, working Z-axis. Uh, the mirrors are aligned, it cuts acrylic brilliantly, MDF and all the things you would expect it to cut. Can't believe how quickly they do um, slate, engrave on slate. Very impressed with that. Okay, this is the exhaust system and just how close it is up against the wall. Um, need to do that because of the, the space in the workshop. So this is the arrangement I came up with for my exhaust it goes through the three holes in the backboard just joins to a manifold with two outlets and they go down to two outlets the pipes run on the outside of the case down to these pipes here and that's into a box into the blower so that's 90 mil and um i think that's 100 mil the um the inlet into the blower and then out through the window so you can see the tube. It's quite cosy in there, but I would think a little bit more room would have been better. There you go. And that's my air solenoid. Could do with mounting that really. And then the exhaust goes out through the window there. Uh, compressors down below. I still haven't added in a strut for the lid. Happened to hold it up there. So that's another job to do. And yet again, still have to enclose, finally enclose the electronics. I think that will be a good thing to do. I must do it. But the case is airtight enough for it to draw quite effectively through the 90 mil holes at the back that you can see there. And the bed raises and lowers. I haven't quite got to grips with um, with the Ruida controller and light burn on um, the z-axis and cutting thicker material I keep getting that wrong but I'll work it out eventually I guess um, the mirrors have given me a few issues mainly that because the machine's so close to the wall at the back I have to move it out every time I need to do some work at the back and when I do it's not an entirely flat floor in the workshop, which means that the laser then has to be realigned again. Um, all that really means is that uh, I'm pretty good at aligning the laser now, <laughs> or checking it anyway. It's only slightly, but, but it's enough to, to affect things. Um, yeah, uh, aligning is, is another, another art in itself. It, it, it took me quite a while to get it right, but it, it's actually really very good now from a, right across from one end of the axis to the other I, it, the, the, the laser staying in the same spot uh, what I might do in the future is, is misalign the whole thing strip, strip the case off and then go through an alignment process because the way I've done it is slightly different to the way I've seen it done in just about all of the YouTube videos that I've seen anyway a few things that I would um, improve if I did this again are that the space around my axis is quite limited and I really need about 30 mil all the way around. What I've ended up with is about 590 on the uh, Y by 1200, a good 1200 on the uh, on the X axis and I'm in 100 mil on the Z which is at, at well. I originally designed it to be more than that but it came out at 100 mil and that, I think that's I'm happy with that. Um, unlike many of these laser builds, um, I used square tube instead of aluminium extrusion. Um, that had a cost advantage for sure, but it made for more work. Um, and I think I would, and I made it so it was adjustable as I've shown in a previous video. You can't really see them now because they're, they're well in there, but it's built on pillars so I could in fact raise the heights and gain more Z-axis 
if in the future if I if I wanted to. But I don't think I would and really should have welded those in. So I need to finish the electrics. Um, this switch here currently doesn't do anything. That was intended for the indicator laser. So I've had a bit of problems working out the 5 volt power supply for the uh, indicator laser, but I'll get there. Um, blanking plate. There's another three switch holes behind there, so I guess we'll have power, um, indicator laser, blower, chiller. That should work. So that red dot now focuses exactly where my laser is going to hit. It means I can uh, align the job properly. Just control with the switch there. So all in all I'm pleased with it. Um, been a long road to get here. I haven't done the finances but I'm figuring that I've done this for uh, with the tube and the power supply for the tube and the chiller um, which I showed in a previous video um, under 4000 with all the materials but that's making everything myself and bending the acrylic for the for the cover which needs more support by the way I was thinking of extra things you can do but my projects never really end a lot of the time because I never actually get around to it finishing them but but I'm always thinking of ways to improve and and this is no exception to that rule well thank you for watching this short series on building my laser as I say it's taken me uh, from middle of January to the beginning of August to complete it um, but it's been a fairly worthwhile project a very worthwhile project although it's now got to earn its uh, living I will come back and do a alignment video at some point in the future. And there are still improvements to make, so I'll take videos as I go along. All being well. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time.